Hey, kia ora, Helen Broms here coming to life from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're having a super fantastic sparkling Shake It Up Saturday. How was your Shake It Up Saturday? What did you do to shake your Saturday up? I know many people spent time this morning on either um, um, watching the, the live broadcast in either one of our Facebook groups or on the YouTube channel for Mailbox Power as they released version 3.0 and the holiday showcase. It was an incredible morning. Um, unbelievable. There was some, I had some surprises as well because I didn't know everything that was being done. Um, so it was just amazing to see what they had come up with, how they did it. It was beautifully done. They did an incredible, the head office did an incredible job of putting everything together and um, presenting it in a very concise way. And then at 12 o'clock, they actually had online training. And that went for over two hours <laughs> as people had questions and questions and questions about the new system. And um, and it was just it's just been and it's such an incredible day. And I'm so honored to be part of it. And I did spend time on the help desk after the call. And we did have a lot of people asking you questions about the well, where do I find this? Where do I find that? Can I still do this? Can I upgrade? How do I upgrade? And things like that. Um, hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Um, so it was an incredible day and I'm so grateful I got to be part of it. So it was a very shaken, not stirred day. Then I suddenly remembered as well, partway through the presentation, that it was four years ago today that we laid bread to rest. It was the 2nd of October, 2017, when we had his funeral. And I thought, you know, it's kind of, you know, in a way it's sort of like, you know, we said goodbye to him four years ago today and laid him to rest. And on that anniversary, the birth of something new happened with, what, with what I was involved with with Mailbox Power and with the stuff that I'm doing for my own businesses and what's coming with that. It's sort of like um, not closure as such, but it gives me something to be, um, I mean, I was grateful I was grateful for the day when we buried um, Brad and laid him to rest. All the people that showed up, I am, I mean, I was astounded by the number of people, well, not the number of people, but who showed up. Um, it was just incredible to see all those friends and those friends coming in and family was there to support it. You know, the family had a great support for all the friends that came in. It was just amazing. Um, and I was sort of like thinking, I wish Brad was here to see it. Um, but it was an incredible day and, um, and we had another incredible day today too. So I now have that memory of talking about how grateful I was for the time I got to spend with Brad because I did the eulogy for Brad and, um, so I remember talking about that and um, and just the peace the peacefulness that came over me that day. It wasn't a very turmoil -y day for me. Yeah, I did get a little um, I had sparkles of love flying at one point, but overall it was just a very calming day for me. Um, and today too, even though all the excitement that was building up for the release of this, when we got to when they started the live, the live stream and stuff, it became a very calming type of day. So October 2nd is now Helen's calming day. It's a day of calmness. Um, come from two very different events on very different ends of the spectrum. Um, so yeah, because October 2nd every year, I've just sort of like sat down and taken a breath and uh, not really talked about it much being October 2nd. I haven't talked about it much being the day of Brad's funeral, but um, it's a, it was a very it's a very calming day for me so I enjoy I'm very grateful for October the second and all that it's all that gets encompassed on that day so um, yeah so that we had another anniversary and it wasn't until it wasn't until yesterday because I saw somebody posting um, a picture in Vegas because the day before Brad's funeral was the shooting in Vegas at that country festival and somebody posted on their Facebook page um, all the crosses. Um, in one area of Vegas there with everybody's names written on a cross. And I sort of thought, oh, yeah, that's right. That took place the day before we buried Brad. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's his anniversary tomorrow of us burying him. And um, I remember some friends were just, like, astounded with the way things work because I have friends who lived in Vegas who came down for Brad's funeral on the 1st. And they were thinking about, or oh, do I go to San Diego for the funeral, or do I stay here and go to the country festival? So they were. These are people, friends of mine, who were, live in Vegas, who were actually thinking of going to the country festival, but because Brad's funeral was on the second, they chose on the October first to travel down to San Diego 
for the funeral on the second. Um, otherwise, they would have been at the country festival that night. So it was sort of like, you know, there was something there was something bigger than all of us working that day and night and everything on that at that occasion there. Um, because, yeah, I don't know much more to say about that one. Um, your Italian story question of the day was, which countries did you, which country or countries did your family come from? Have you looked back at that? How many generations are you, have you been, how many generations have been in the US? So, you know, who was the first ancestor of yours to come out, um, to come to the United States? When did they come to the United States? You know, and how many generations from when they came out to you, so you know how many, generations you've been here for. For me, um, I had great grandparents and great great grandparents that were not born in New Zealand. So um, for me, that's three, three and four generations. So in some cases, I'm third generation and some and on some parts of the tree, I'm fourth generation. So three slash four, somewhere around there. <laughs> it's always interesting to find out where you come from and, uh, and to learn what, what cultural traits do you have that tie you back to one of the that tie you back to the countries that you that your ancestors came from it's always an interesting thing to look at um i was still trying to figure out mine <laughs> but anyway um i'm out of here for now if you have any questions regarding family tree research um please private message me or drop them in the comments below and um, we may take your question and it may become one of our questions on one of our family tree answer nights got that today i got that domain family tree answers.com that's now my domain it's like yes anyway um i'm out of here it's been a lot it's been a great day it's been a it hasn't been a tiring day it's just been like i said a very calming day it hasn't been stressed out or anything like that and um it's just been a really cool day today i've enjoyed today and tomorrow we get up early we go to the dog park early and um then when i get back we'll get on the chat see if they need any help there and if not I'll log off if they do I'll stay around and help on the chat some and you know have an easy day tomorrow but we will see you back here bright and early tomorrow morning or we may be on the road somewhere tomorrow morning um for um serenity sunday hey gonera